Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, I got some ribs, guys, some baby back ribs. We're gonna throw on the Monument Grill. It's not gonna be a low and slow, but it's not gonna be a real fast cook either. I'm gonna throw it on there. Got some uh, wood pellets. We're going to uh, get under there, throw some smoke on it, and uh, hopefully get a nice little layer of smoke. And um, just see how they turn out, guys. Got a lot going on today. Today is Derby Day, by the way. Kentucky Derby's uh, playing later on. We're gonna get these ribs done before then and um, see what happens. So guys, let's go inside, let's get this prepped up. Can he do it? Almost. <laughs> hey guys, we're just gonna come in here. Um, if you watch, my last video on the monument grill i did a couple steaks i'm really gonna repeat that there's some lee and Perrin's worcestershire sauce just a little binder but i'm really just repeating that seasoning process i tried it on the beef that was the uh, uh grillaholics brazilian steak we're doing that same thing here i was gonna come in with a base layer of spg I'm gonna layer it up this time. Not real heavy on the SPG. It's a flip. Hit the bone side. And I am quickly falling in love with this uh, also from Gorilla Hogs, the Brazilian Steakhouse Rub. Guys, check this out. Got a link below in the comment, or in the, down below there, uh, to Gorilla Hogs. You can get yourself 20% uh, off if you so choose to buy some. It's still a fairly new bottle. Don't forget your sides and your ends. it's gonna be just fine guys let me get the uh, grill fired up get this on there here in just a few minutes All right guys, I wanna take one minute and I've talked in the past about the, the glass in these monument grills. I love this monument grill, by the way. Uh, keeping it clean can be a, a chore. Uh, I found that uh, just every time you use it, taking a wet towel, uh, preferably when the glass is still pretty hot, get up underneath there and wipe the glass down. It goes a long ways to help keeping the glass clean. But I was watching a, a video from my buddy, Big Blue Barbecue, another thing he do. And he's got a monument grill just like this, or had one just like this anyway. And he uses denatured alcohol on a paper towel. And I did that today, glass, practically like brand new, like I just bought it. So check that out guys, if you have a monument grill, or if you're thinking about getting one, uh, uh, keeping it clean is real easy. Tell you what, and go check out Big Lou's channel. I'll have a link down below for him. Got everything cleaned off. Um, for the moment, I'm gonna turn this middle grill completely off. Turn these outer ones all the way down on low. Um, I ain't sure what that's gonna be, but I want to adjust starting at this point. I want the middle burner off, and we'll have some smoke going from the middle. So yeah, let's get this thing on here. I don't know how we're gonna do this. There we go. Top rack, that's where we're gonna keep it. Probably do most of, if not all of this cook. Get some rub back down on there. I'm 
can see where the temperature just kind of balances out there. We can adjust this here, so it's all good. All right, guys, let me show you how we're going to do our smoke today. I will push it back underneath there, but uh, I bought this tube uh, for smoking cheese, and it's a uh, I think it's six inches long. They also make a 12 inch long one. Uh, when I bought it for the cheese, I knew it wasn't going to be on the cheese more in a couple hours. This filled to the top uh, with uh, wood pellets. Uh, it was about a two and a half hour smoke, and I don't know that we'll get that today. I've got some, uh, I got this pan so it doesn't turn all the way on its side and spill out. That's my theory. Uh, but that is Jack Daniels wood pellets. They're, they're oak barrel pellets. And I'm just gonna set it up here so it's a little bit on an angle. And that's the first time I'm doing it this way, so we'll see how it goes. Let's get some, let's get some fire going here. I've never used these, uh, this particular flavor on ribs, so it, it'll be a treat too. That should do it right there. We'll let that burn for a second and then we will blow that out and we'll get some good smoke. Turn this if I can around sideways. Cover more surface area of the ribs. See, it's definitely putting off some smoke. We'll check back in a little while, see where we're at. All right, folks, it's only been about 30 minutes, but I want to turn this over to the meat side down. Make sure we represent and get some smoke there. We're running about 300 degrees, which is fine for what we're doing here. And I'm not sure how long it's going to take still, but we'll, we'll kind of judge that as we go. I have turned up the outside burners uh, just to get us up to that 200 range. and. Uh, I could have very easily done a 225 low and slow cook on this grill, so I'm not worried that I can't. Maybe I will someday soon. So right now we're going to get a little faster cook, and we'll check back in maybe another hour. We'll see. We'll see where we're at here in about 30 minutes or so. Hey right, guys, we've been about an hour and 15, 20 minutes or so, and I'm going to come in here and. Uh, I want to see how close we are. 170. Wow, we're more done than what I thought. <laughs> Don't have a little pullback, a lot of pullback. I'm gonna wrap these guys. It's been on the smoke. Uh, I mean, we've been cooking just a little over 300 degrees, so I'm, I'm probably not that surprised. But I'm gonna see if we can uh, get this tender. Um, so we're gonna wrap it. Let me get set up for that, and I'll be back in just a second. Sauces. G. Hughes sugar-free maple brown flavored uh, barbecue sauce. It is delicious, guys. And I'm just gonna go, before I put the ribs on, put just a little bit down here on the bottom of the pool. Right, let's get these off of here. Nice little pull. Yeah, here. Get back here. Get a good wrap. Get this back on the grill. Check back here in just a bit. Don't really need the smoke right now, but it's there anyway. All right, guys, I don't know how well you can see that. We're definitely done. Butter, butter. For the record, we're over 200, 208. We're definitely done. I'm going to get this out of the pool. We still got smoke. I'm very impressed with that. 
for uh, over two hours, which I was expected that. Butter, I'm not really checking, I am checking temperature, but I'm mostly checking for tenderness, and we are well in that tender range. Even though we don't have a lot of pullback. We got some, it's okay. Let me get this off of here, I'm gonna throw some glaze on here, and uh, get this thing finished up and get a taste test. Back on, yeah. There we go. Add a little smoke on the outer layers. That at the end ain't gonna kill it. I know it's not going to absorb any more smoke, but add the smoke there. Let's use it. I'm going to dump these juices right back on there. All right, that'll do that. All right, guys, I'm gonna hit this back up, uh, glaze this with some more of that sugar-free barbecue sauce, that maple bourbon from G. Hughes. Uh, God, this stuff is quickly becoming one of my favorites. I hit this up a couple times, because that's about all I got enough barbecue sauce for. And we'll see you inside when we cut this and get a taste test. Right, guys would you look at that it's about a two and a half hour cook uh, I thought that was pretty good did not get we got some pullback but not a whole lot and I could tell by smelling it we did definitely got some smoke even though I'm not really expected much of a smoke ring so let's see if I can hit in between the bones here maybe Lord it's pulling apart really good it's almost falling apart in here let's try that one right there not really a smoke ring guys but that's okay I can smell that oak wood in there uh, we definitely got a hint of smoke in there smell it oh lord there, you know there's a tiny you gotta look close but there actually is a little small smoke ring let me get mama fed we're gonna come back and get a taste test on this one right here All right, guys, it smells good. Let's see. Well, it's very tender. It's kind of sort of falling off the bone rather than... Mm-hmm. What a good flavor. That is, my friends, for a two and a half hour cook, very good. Got some good oak. That Jack Daniels uh, uh, pellets did an amazing job. I did not use wood chips on that like I would normally do. And I wanted to try that tube. And I tell you what, I get a little bit more smoke using the pellets and the tube than I do with the wood chips. So it might be a new trend you see with me uh, cooking on the gas grill anyway. And uh, I, I, we're just real busy today. Uh, well, I say busy, I was watching horses today and losing money, but <laughs> it's all good. Great day, great day of racing. Um, I just didn't win any money. So guys, thank you as always. Cheers to you, gotta wash it down. <clears throat> thank you as always, uh, guys. And uh, tell you what, uh, hit that like button if you don't mind, that helps us out a lot. Subscribe to us if you have not already. And guys, uh, hit that bell notification to let you know every time I post a new video. So guys, until next time, God bless you. Bye-bye.